Hey everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost. Do you want to try a little experiment with me today? I have a magazine, kind of a, just a magazine, and I thought it might be fun to try and use the fact that this magazine has um, wide pages. So in essence, it could be the front and back cover of a journal. So what I thought I would do, or we could either we could do a couple things. We could cut this in half and have either two journals that are wide or we could um, uh, cut this this way and maybe a little bit off and then we'd have a journal that's um, like more like a traditional journal, a regular journal. I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's, let's take an assessment. Oh, and I also wanted to play with the Undine DigiKit. These are beautiful images from days gone by. It's U-N-D-I-N-E from my DigiKit collection. Um, these are just so pretty. I, I, I just, I just, and I have had some requests on how to use them. Um, actually, did DigiKits in general, how to use them. So I thought this might be a fun way to play with that idea. So we're going to make a very simple journal using something that you might get in the mail, some junk mail. And let's just have some fun with it and see where it goes. Um, okay, so this is an experiment. I know not of what I do here. And let's just give this a try. I have played with these magazines before because, like I said, the, uh, the, the fact that they give you these wide pages, that's kind of cool. Yep, very kind of cool. All right. <clears throat> okay, so let's grab our old friend. No, not, no, not sanding block. I know, I know what you were thinking. Not sanding block. Our old friend Craft Knife who is strangely left in the open position. You don't want to do that because you're going to stab yourself or your dog. Don't do that. And let's just line this up. Let me make it a little smaller so you can all see. Um, move the stuff out of the way, Pam. You have crowded up your craft table again. Okay. Um, I'm just going to put it on a little square here so I can find out how big this is going to be. And it really, there's no rhyme or reason as to the size but just so you know this particular magazine has two staples one here and one here maybe we can use that to our advantage but be mindful where your staples are because you're going to be deciding whether you want to keep them in place or remove them at one point I believe as I'm trying to think this is through in my head okay let's maybe go to here I'm just looking at it thinking well where would be a good place to how wide do I want this drill just as like a little let me see how big my pictures are. Yeah, you'll fit there. Maybe go a little wider. Maybe give you one more inch. A little half inch, actually. Um, just because of some of the sizes of the picks. Give us a little more elbow room. And I'm cutting. You can do this with scissors, too, or on a guillotine, or cutter, or paper trimmer. Whatever you have, whatever you're using, it's all good. It's all... Oh, I'm going, I'm going Irish. I, I, there we go. We're going Irish. But, you know, it's probably the Undine thing. Oh, that might be from Scotland. I can't remember. Irish, Irish, Irish. It's very Irish <laughs> around here today. Good grief. It's one of those days. Oh, no. <laughs> Look at all this great scrap. Oh, my gosh. We had so much fun we could have that with that. Just put that over there for now. Okay, so I think I don't want it so tall. This is a mighty tall journal we have here. Yes. I, I was in Ireland uh, once. I loved it. Oh, if you ever get the chance, it is a bucket list must go see. It's just fabulous. Fabulous people, fabulous fun. So green, so unbelievably green. I think I'll take it up to about nine, nine inches. Why not? Let's just feel in bold. Feeling bold and fancy here today. Oh boy, it's still rolling, isn't it? Sometimes, it, you know, you can't control it. It just comes, uh, am I going through the staple? Yes. No, no, I'm not. Double check to make sure you're not going through the staple. That is important. Um, metal doesn't like to cut. Oh, I almost got my finger. Metal doesn't like to cut through metal. Uh, if it, yeah, no, just be mindful. You don't cut through your staple because that would just be a pain in the patootie. All right, here we go. A little thicker this way for some. It's not thicker. It's the same thickness, Pam. Um, a little tougher. There we are. We through probably a dull blade. Okay, there we go. We have that retracting. And now we have our little mini uh, book cover, our little journal cover. Well, wait, what do you think, Pam? It's a, still a magazine. 
I don't, I don't see a journal cover. Okay, so what I thought we'd do is we've got to white it up. So we're, we're working with a, what have I got here? I mean, I'm, I'm, go, I'm not going far. I'm bending over and I came up with a piece of cardstock. Um, you could also use a piece of printer paper if you put, prefer. Um, let's see, how's that working for us? Not bad, not bad. We're just shy of fitting nicely. Of course, right, right. Oh boy, maybe we should just shave it down and have it fit nicely. That would be so convenient, wouldn't it? Why don't we do it? Let's do it. Okay, so I have to trim a little bit more here. It's such a stinker. Um, taking the easy way out yet again. I know, I know. All right. Let's make sure I measure it all in position. Okay. Why does that look wider there? Nobody knows. I'm not in the, I must not be in the right position. Check. You know what I'll do? I'll do this. That should bring it all home, right? I'll do one of those. That'll bring it all home. You gotta be home at that point. If you're not home, you don't even know where you are. You're not home. <laughs> okay, we're cutting this off. Here we go. Could probably do this on the guillotine better. And it is right beside me, but I have to admit, it is covered in stuff. Just covered in stuff. So I might have to get that stuff off there. Maybe not though. Aha. All right, this put in the garbage. We have to let go of some stuff, Pam. All right. Now we have one we have two staples securing this so it doesn't rock back and forth on itself, which is kind of nice. And uh then I'm gonna go ahead and just glue this down and I think I'm I don't know. Am I gonna sew it? I might. I, I just I just might go in there and sew this. Let's see. Let's see what happens as I do this. I have no idea at this point. This great way again to use up scraps. Those of you who are winning the scrap contest, take a look at this because you probably got a lot of card stuck in there or pieces of it. Um, and some other things, so, but let's just see how this goes. I think I would like to sew. I think it would look cute, but don't, don't oh, I'm all over the place now. Okay, where am I? Am I here? Let's, 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 let's turn it over and see what on earth is going on. What on earth is going on? Let's do that. Okay. All right, we are nice and mooshed on there. Um, I, I, I would like to sew it because I think it'll look pretty, but I'm thinking we don't have to sew it. Okay, so I have a little excess. What I could technically do to make a nice little butt edge there is fold that over and that seals all that together. That's kind of nice. I like that. I'm just I'm working on basic construct here. Nothing fancy yet. Um, let's see how. Oh yeah, I was worried about that. Let's 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 try um, finding the spine. Okay, the spine has been found. Oh, let me, where is it? My bone folder. That's what we really need in here. Yeah, there we go. Let's get some nice creases going. Let's rock this baby. Here we go. Now we're, we're, we're going to town. So we have some thickness. Okay, but it does come apart. We could use that to our advantage and make pockets and things like that. But I would like this just to be a nice structural, soft, soft, softish cover journal. Boy, I needed to kick myself in the back of the head with that one. Um, staple close to the top. Got to be mindful of that. But, and I also would like to cover this. Do we have more cardstock? Maybe we need more cardstock. Which will lend itself to making this whole thing thicker. Uh, so every time you add a layer of anything, you're getting thicker. Just remember that. Okay, now we could make this just totally fit right in there. Where do I have to cut that? My kingdom for a pencil. There's a half a pencil. Grab that one. Let me slide this down just so I can see. See what I'm looking at is to see that my paper is on the, just on the inside there, marking it, come, bring it down a little so you can see where, and then just on the inside there. And that way you know you're, you've got enough. And then if we're gonna go flush with the top. Yeah, and it's, it's flush. I think I'm gonna, I, I have to trim a little bit more down here because it's just the way things are going. I don't know what this is going to work like. Let's just, let's just give it a go. Um, yeah, you can make a, a cover out of anything. It doesn't have to be an old book. Um, 
Doesn't have to be a cereal box. Doesn't have to be a lean cuisine box, but it could be. It could be. Just, you know, remember to use what you have in your environment around you. You don't have to go buy a bunch of stuff. You can actually sew together old book pages if you wanted to. If you have a, a book that you're not really interested in it anymore, you can totally do that. Yes, you can. All right, I'm going to, I'm going to, out of logic, fold this in half. I think it will just make for an easier fold -a All right, get this guy going. Yeah, put him to work. He's worth his weight in gold. I'm telling, gold. Yeah, he is. A um, few things in life, but that is one of them. It is. It just is. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. Glue in here. Fabrifix. Clear silicone glue. Fabric to fabric. Fabric to paper. Paper to paper. All over the place here. I don't know. A little bit down here, maybe. Across the top. And this is just for basic anchoring at this point. You could use a glue stick or really any glue. And uh, most glues are not going to wrinkle cardstock if you're using cardstock. All right, we all need to either go north or go south, but you need to make the Montessorian choice of which way you're going to go. Going north, going north, going north. Are we going? Yeah, we're going north. Okay, are we there yet? No. <laughs> okay, we're kind of close. All right, let's see if it folds. Oh, not bad. Okay. More. We see we now we have more bulk in there, so let's come along again with this guy and do that and this guy and do that and yeah i do need to i need to do some trimming here there's just no way around this we need to trim it so it's all flushy pants here we go and if i would be smart and take off a piece of my craft knife so i have a nice fresh piece this would go so smoothly then being a little lazy pants crafter today Super lazy pants. All right. You know, the stuff is literally right there and it's too far for me to get. You know, am I the only one? You know what I mean? You spend hours organizing the place and it's half a foot away and you just can't be bothered. Yeah, <laughs> does that happen? I don't know. Hey, it's okay. We carry on. That's why it's, I think, good idea to have a bit of a big desk because then you can plop a lot of stuff on it and then things are really close. <laughs> yeah. All right. So that's kind of nice. That's good. All right. We have that. Oh, it's a little shy there. We seem to have some strange magazine showing here. Probably could have just guillotined all this. Okay. Here we go. If I was by myself and the camera wasn't on, I would be guillotining this. Okay. There we go. There we go. Flush as butter, whatever that means. And um, now we can have some fun with it. Now we could totally, you don't have to do anything more than this. But one thing I've noticed, I have no idea where my staples are. That's right. That could be a problem. So it might have been advantageous to remove the staples first, but did not do that. No, did not. That's okay, though. That's I don't need to do that. No, 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 no. Um, maybe I will make this a... Huh. Well, I can't sew this way with the machine because I don't know where my staples are. And I, I could do, I could do a three hole pamphlet stitch and just kind of poke to see where the, the things are. Let's try that. Where are you? Little poke meister. This thing will probably cut right through a step staple. So I'm going on the one eighth. This is a crocodile two big bite. If you've never seen one, um, it's a great. It's a hole puncher and an eyelet setter. I'm going to use the okay one, I'm gonna do two, three. Okay, there we go. I don't know. Maybe I won't sew it. It's kind of it's kind of nice the way it is, but no, I got this gappies, so I think I will sew it. You could glue all that into; you don't have to. You could also hand stitch. That would look really pretty. Um, but I think for um, expediency, we are going to sew it. So hold on. Okay, I have my "Don't Fail Me Now" brother project runway sewing machine at the ready, and we're just going to go around. What color have I got here? Brown. That will work. It's white on the inside, brown on the outside. Flatten this puppet. I hope this works. Sometimes things buckle, you know, when you're sewing. Well, let's just see what happens. Let's just be bold. We're being bold and we're being brave and we're going in. And I think what I'm going to do to 
make things easier on my machine is I'm going to pick a zigzag stitch, which is number four on here. Then I'm going to make the stitches long, like wider, like longer, longer. So let's go up to two and a half. And then I'm going to make them a little wider too, which is less stress on the machine. I have no idea how this is going to go, but um, we're, going, we're going in. We're going in. Okay, getting my foot pedal. My foot pedal can't reach the floor. Why is that? Oh, because I moved my machine. Um, oh, you know, who organized this room? <laughs> okay, grab your tails. Grab your tails, everyone. We are sewing. Okay, here we go. Seem to be way over there for some reason. Don't know why, oh, but we're moving and things are happening. Okay, we get a little bit of a little goose. Are things good still? It's a little thick, you know. The machine is not totally thrilled about all this, but I am getting something that looks like stitching on the other side. It's going to probably mask any of the little tiny bit of um, magazine that's showing. And I can uh, color that with some ink, I think. I seem to be getting a bit of a buckle here. Well, we'll just see what keeps going. Because maybe once I flatten the book out again, like fold it up, it'll, it'll go away. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen in that department. Okay, fold it. And I think something's telling me to come off the edge here. I'm getting a feeling. All right, what do I have? Oh, that's kind of all over the place, isn't it? Well, that's interesting. Yeah, I guess my machine didn't really like that. No, nope, didn't, no. Nope. Probably have issues with tension and things like that. Oh, well, we'll carry on. Um, all righty. Now, we're gonna do that across the top too. Okay, we're gonna go, no, nope, we gotta go this way. All right, we'll, we'll just, I'm just rolling with it. We're going to see how this goes. Uh, I need some more string. Oh, no, you're threaded. Don't, don't be going there. Where's me brown thread? Are you gone? No, you're here. I see you. Yeah, come on out of there. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Oh, I had you. Come on. Little gipper hiding on me. Can't, can't see anything because all these red flashy nails. Okay, I got I get you. You're coming now. Nope, you're out completely. All right, let me rethread you. If you must, if I must. Okay, am I good? Yeah, I'm all, there we go. That little rethreader thing. It's really handy because I'm blind as a bat. Why do I not again have my my uh, readers on? I should. I know. Okay, here we go. Putting in position, holding tails, going slow. Oh yeah, machine not happy. Okay, just, just pretend like you like it. Just like, you're okay with it, machine. It's only paper. I know, it's like 75 sheets of paper and I'm asking you to sew it again. I know, but you're so understanding and kind and boy, your stitches are all over the place. You must be really mad at me. Yeah, you're not liking this, are you? Not one bit, not one bit. That's okay, we're just going for a little decorative flair and we'll cover you all up with some ink. Uh, or, you know, or anything. We could we could take some trim. If it, if it comes out all hoggly-woggly, which sometimes it does. Okay, let's go back and forth a little bit, anchoring that in. Probably should have anchored at the beginning, but forgot. Okay, what'd we get? Oh, and back this baby up. All right, here we go. Eh, 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 oh. Mm, looks like an EKG, doesn't it? Yeah, I think this patient is quickly flatlining, but um, let's get you oriented again. Hold on. All right, I'm just going to do a little trimming. I've got little tails. Another little tail. Trim, trim. And let me see if I can just, I can, if I can bone fold this into flatness again, we're good. Let's see if it can be done. Can you be done? I think you can be done. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. And um, we can cover that up. Don't worry. Don't worry about that. Um, all right. Let's put a few pages in. Okay. So I grabbed some green. Um, I think I used a food color to make these green. And what I'm going to do is... How many did I grab? That's, that's a good question. One, two... Three, four, oh, oh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And uh, 
I would like to say that 10 is a good number because there's no spine here. There's really no, I mean, there's a spine, but it has no width to it. So we don't want to put a whole heck of a lot in there or the whole thing just plumb won't work. You know what I mean? So we're, I'm going to stick with 10. This has some, like, like somebody ate this at the bottom. That's just me because the paper tore, it was wet. But this, I need to have shorter anyway. So I think I'm just going to cut that off. And I think I'm going to use my guillotine. Hold on. Oh my gosh, so much easier. Yes, than me fumbling away. That, obviously, need to take off more than that. And if you're unsure, you can always do the old pencil trick where you put this here. That's This uh, signature is flush up against the spine. And you draw a quick line like that. And then you know that you have to cut in, decide how much. Like, do you want to go in a quarter of an inch? I need to trim this a little bit more. Oh, we're going to do something about you. You just, you just wait. Um, and I'm going to use my guillotine again. I'll be right back. So I just asked my guillotine, guillotine, I just asked my guillotine to cut through 20 pages because I fold this in half, folded this in half and it, it was willing. You just, you never know with the guillotine. It has a mind of its own. Okay. Let's decide what we're going to do about this mayhem on here. Let's try if we can ink it up first. What's the place we can always start with. We don't like that. We can do other things and we're going to decide whether we want to embrace this <laughs> or hide it i am thinking maybe hide it because it's i mean there's natural struggle but this is like this is a serious um arrhythmia going on here something needs to be done um i I'm, I'm, now i'm random inking because i don't know what i'm doing i've just got the inker in my hand and away i go this is going to hew it a bit and i think i'm just going to come in here with the a very easy save of some fabric trim or some lace or something like that, which I think will look very nice um, on the inside and on the outside. And it will actually give the little um, journal a little bit more structure because every time you put something that reinforces the cover anywhere, it's going to give it more stiffness. So as we add some pictures and things like that to the front or pockets, things like that to the inside and outside covers, more structure. Okay. Let me go find something. Hold on. I found some um, black uh, ribbon, which uh, I believe this came from like, you know how those things are sewn into the inside of clothes so you can hang them up in the hanger? I always cut those off and use them for journals. They're a great resource. resource. Yes. I think I'm going to put that there. And let's say you didn't have this. You could also do this with a magic marker. You could um, come in there and just cover that up with a, like a black Sharpie or something. And that would work dandy. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm going to do it separately. Yes, now I see you. Don't your your day's coming too. Okay, here we go. Just take it to the edge. Let me put that down. Could go straight across, but oh, I do have enough. Maybe I will just go straight across. I just wondered if there was going to be pulling at the spine. If there is, I'll, I'll cut it. And then there won't be pulling. Because once you are cut, you could not pull. All right, cover up that. Okay, well, well, it's up in the air. What are you doing up in the air? I know you need to glue down and, and try and make a straight line, Pam. There we go. Okay, let's get a cute little pair of scissors and cut this off. Okay. Yeah, okay, now go back down, go back down. Okay, so now we have that. That's looking kind of cool, right? It gives us a little edge. And do we have enough to do that? No, no, of course we don't. No, we could do one side though. Well, that's not going to work. So we'll have to do something different on the inside. Hang on, let me look. Okay, I found some very light pinky beige lace. And I think I'm run, gonna run a little bead of glue across there. And we're just gonna give it a little topper. Yeah. Just for fun, because we're here. And it's present. I'm present, you're present, we're all present. And we're gluing. There we go. Give it nice and flat, so. It'll be okay when it folds. Okay. Okay. I'll let that dry for a second. You could even like cooch it up the top a little bit. Scooch it up there. And maybe if you want to have like a little bit of pretty, oop, it's stuck to my fingers. Prettiness, like peek over the top. You could do that. Let's see how that looks. Sometimes you don't know until you, you actually close it. There we got a little bit. So it's not quite even. Yep. Oh, good. Reinforce there. I'm going to pull this guy a little bit down. Everybody else was. Okay, here we go. Oh, he's high. Over here we have 
Your Highness, come down. Be a little shorter. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we got that going on. Okay, I know. It's, it's nothing really fancy, but it's something. And it's to help you get out of those little issues. You know, those little, those little bluebirds that happen. Okay, so we're back here. We're going to put that in there. Let's do that. So, easy way to do that is just to... I feel like I want to ink this. My, I can't stop myself. I'm going to be inking the first page. I just think it's going to give a little more contrast if I do this. And around the base. And here. Maybe I'll even rough this up with a sanding block. That would be fun. No, Pam, stay focused. Remember, we're playing with Undine and we're trying to show how to... How to, how to use that. You're right. You're, oh gosh, it's 25 minutes already. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally overboard. Make this um, just, 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 just a fun little project. Maybe you want to still make something for Christmas and you just need a quick something. This is a this is apparently not such a quick something. But um, it, I don't know. I'm having fun, so I'm rolling with it. Here we go. Okay. Now, take this, close it up. Put this where I want it to live in the journal. Okay. And then I make my little pencil marks where the holes are on the spine of the signature that's where I'm going to know where to cut don't forget which side is up because if you reverse it it won't fit right I'm going to cut with my same thing one eighth um crocodile big bite two yeah you can buy these on Amazon or at Hobby Lobby I've seen them I'm sure all the craft stores probably carry this thing um but if you can't find it, it's, uh, I have a link to it in my Amazon shop. and uh, Or if you just Google Crocodile 2 Big Bite and click on the shopping button, you'll find a bajillion of them out there. Okay. There. Now, if I remembered correctly, everything should line up. Did I? I think I did. Okay, I get, need to get a string. Hold on. I think I'm going to use some of this. I call it sea green or moss green or forest green uh, waxed thread uh, to sew this together. So we take one, two three of the length of the height of a journal and then that's going to be enough to sew in one signature. So here we go. Grab yourself a big-eyed needle, pop that baby through without any readers and we're sewing. That's how fast it happens. Go through the middle, go through the middle of your cover, go through the top hole and hope to God you find the the hole that goes through your signature and then come out towards you, leave a tail, and then uh, there. Oh, I, I, I luckied that one, got through two at the same time. Now go through the middle again. That's your three hole pamphlet stitch, pretty easy. Anybody can do that. Here's the big, the big finale. This is it where it all comes together or falls apart. Um, just make them so they're about the same length on either side. You can pull this and that'll give you a little more this way. Okay, so you got your angel wings, right? And this is your bridge. Okay, so you want to have both one on this side and one on this side underneath the bridge. And then pull it snug, not tearing, but snug. And then you wrap the angel wings around the bridge so it's locked in there. And then you do it the opposite way. So it's right over left and then left over right. And then I do one more for good measure in case I messed it up. There we go. And you can leave these and dangle something from it. Or you can just leave them as is. I think I'm just going to make them even with the book. Then we're going to train our paper, and voila, we have a, a little baby journal here. Very fun, very wonderful for gift giving. That didn't take long, and I, I'm like, I'm extra fussing on the, the cover with all these little things. You don't have to do all that. You can just go in and make your cover. Um, okay, so we have, we have ourselves a little journal. And the fact that I am getting smudges, I'm okay with that. Um, I like the fact that this journal has some softness with some firmness to it. There's our string showing through on the back on the... Uh, um, spine. I like that look. Okay, and let's let's get into putting some pictures and, and just do. This is like a little quickie, fun thing to do. And that's the nice thing about the um, Digi Kits is you can just do fun things quickly. She said an hour later. Uh, okay, I had to make the journal. All right, give me give me some room here. I need to breathe. Okay, um, I try to make these things easy to cut because. I have to cut them, <laughs> so I like it when they're easy to cut. Okay, so I do my best. I don't always do it right, but I, I do my darndest. All right, let's just trim these babies off. You can leave a little white around the edge if you want, or you can just uh, um, cut them flush with the, the picture. 
I sometimes like to leave a little extra white because I don't know what is going on, so I don't know where I need the contrast. So until I'm absolutely sure, I will do this. All right. Oh. So Undine, um, there's an old story about Undines. They were, um, or the Undine, I don't know exactly um, the correct phraseology there, but uh, they were water spirits or water creatures. And there's a great Colin Farrell movie back from 2010. Apparently, oh, that's a nice picture too. That would be nice for the cover. Or So this would be very nice too. A or B, A or B. Oh, I like that one a lot though. She's got impact. Maybe we'll go with her. All right, we'll use those for the inside pockets. Rolling right along. Um, some of these are duplicates, but they are different sizes just because there are only so many pictures. And I wanted to give you lots to play with in the five uh, pages of the digi kit. So you can use some things that are anchored down or some things that can be removed. If you want to make a little removable um, something in your book, maybe a journal tag or something like that. Oh, she's really pretty. She's got some undine sass going on. That's right. All right, here we go. Um, okay, whoop, kind of curved that at the end. Oh, well, let's see where we're going to go with this. Oh, that's pretty already, isn't it? That just looks nice as it is, but let's do some nesting. I found some, uh, oh, this is pretty too, some lace. I had some old lace. This is very old lace. I don't know how old it is, but it's like, it looks Victorian-ish. And uh, I thought maybe she might look nice nested on there. Let's see. I could wrap that around the back. That might look pretty. Do that there and glue her down. That might be nice. Um, or we could do it the other way. <laughs> we could just have this come over a little bit. Oh, that's pretty as it is. And, or we could make this a pocket on the front and she could be tucked in there. That would be kind of cool too. Or maybe she's nesting in there. Okay, get in there. Oh, of course you're on the other side of the picture. You're hiding. Oh, I could put a little corner pocket nesty thing. That might be fun. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of like that idea. I don't know if I can miss if I figure that out. Okay, so here I would actually be wrapping this around. Hmm. That's kind of fun. We'll just use a little piece of it. How far are we going to go with the back? Oh, that's such a pretty piece of lace. Isn't it pretty? Oh. Okay. Maybe. How far are we going to go in that side? Okay. Yeah, go there. Okay, let me cut off more than I need. Where are my scissors? Where are my scissors? Don't cut it short, Pam. Don't cut it short. You can always trim off more. Okay, I got it. There we go. Okay, so let's start where we want the front pocket to be. Ah, <sighs> okay. Here we come with the Fabrifix glue. Hmm. I might have to trim this. All right, let's see. Here and here, we know we're going to be for sure. So let's place this. And use whatever you got, you know, go rummage around in your closet. You might find something worth playing with. Okay. Okay, there we go. We might have to do some trimming. That's all right. Oh, my house just made a weird sound. You know how they crack sometimes? Probably not a good thing. I don't want to know where it cracked, but it made a crack sound. The old settling. If I got this on backwards, please don't tell me I have this on backwards. No, I don't. Okay. Go over there. Okay. If we put you taut. I know you I know I see you at the bottom. You're not all you're not all even. That's okay. Um let me see. Get close you there. Okay, I'm just making little pocket like things here with the lace. Um you can use modern lace too, it doesn't have to be old vintage lace. I mean it's not that easy to find this stuff. But it's out there. It's out if you ferret around, you'll find it. We've got some good ferreters out there. I know you're finding cool stuff because you show me what you find, and I think that's pretty neat. It's fun, isn't it, the hunt? I know, there goes the pocketbook, but boy, is it fun. And it keeps us off the streets. Okay, here we go. Where's my pinking shears? All right. Dig, 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 look, look, dig. Where are you? I had you. Oh, there you are. Yep, found you. Yeah, let's pink this. Okay. Let's see, I probably want to pink it about here. Yeah, I would say that would be good. Okay. Oh, that was a little shorter than I planned. Um, <laughs> I didn't quite make it to the uh, to the uh, glue I put down. Well, that was beautiful. All right, let's let's trim this off. Pink it. 
Try not to cut your stitching if you stitched. And then here, pink this. We'll figure out what we'll do with that little bald spot that I created. You know, those mice, those men. Phew, that's all I can say. All right, so we do need to do something here. So we can do patchwork. What's this? All right, let's try that. What's that? Oh, maybe go underneath? Maybe. Okay. A little piece there. Okay. There we go. I think that's good. Um, let me just patch you up here. Don't put on too thick because it'll go right through to the uh, paper and then it'll get stuck. But you can you can pop it off if you're very ginger. If you if you act in a gingerly manner, everything will be fine. Okay. There we go. I think we're good. I think we are good. We have a pocket there. We have a with, okay, so what do we have? Pocket here, a pocket here. That was a lot of pockets. I wasn't planning on doing a triple pocket lots like that. Oh, my glue is oozing. Back in your bottle. Back in your little home case. Let me just turn this off. Okay. All right, and uh, we're back. Yes, we are back. Okay, so where's my, my beautiful woman? Where are you? That's your sister. Here you are, looking all gorgeous. Okay, so we could, like, tuck you in here. Yeah, took, oh, come on, work with me. No, none of that. No, no. You want me to glue you? Maybe you want me to glue you. Maybe I could glue her down. I think that would be pretty. I think I will. But first, I will ink you up. Yeah. Just to give you a little bit of pop. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I have to remember I'm not working with a big journal, so I want to keep things a little lighter, easier, and breezier, and um, easy to function and maneuver so things don't fall apart. Going around the edges here. Oh, I'm. Oh, it's too late. I've glued. I was. I just wanted to uh, zigzag stitch her all the way around. That would have looked really cool. But no, no, no. It's too late now. I've glued. Unless I covered up this on the back with something else, and then I could do it. But now we're just going in. We're going. We're going to place her in her place of. This will be you for eternity, Undine. You are here now. It's part of this collection. Of the undine. <laughs> okay, roll off that glue. If you get any that oozes over, if you catch it quick, you can roll it off. If you wait too long, then cover it up. Yep. <laughs> okay, here we go. It's a little bit more. Or you can ink it. That sometimes helps if, if like complete disaster happens, which I am apparently having here. Okay, let me put a little more ink along here. A little more ink around this area. And just kind of, kind of give her a, a little bit of a hueish highlight. So there's still white popping around her. But she's got some uh, some action going on there. You know what I mean? That's kind of pretty. Um, what do we have in the back? Do you want to go in the back? You could, but you you might want to come out. Okay, so let's let's do what I was going to do with the other. I'm going to zigzag stitch around here. Hold on. Okay, so I have gone around and very poorly stitched around the outside, but I think this one actually looks kind of cool. So I'm going to roll with that. It also acts to stiffen the paper. If your paper had curl, it will help reinforce the shape of the rectangle. Uh, and then hopefully it'll be easier to tuck. Oh, I'm glued there. That's why that won't go any further. Okay. So we are there and she is removable. Well, maybe we want to do a little stenciling, right? Do I have a stencil? Is there a stencil handy? Okay, we have uh, this. Maybe I'll uh, introduce a little bit of pink. What have we got here? A kitsch flamingo. And I need my little rubber dauber. Rubber dauber. Rubber dauber do. Where do you go? Pink one. I, I don't know if this is, looks brown, doesn't it? Don't use that one, Pam. Don't do it. Get your pink one. Don't be lazy. Okay, is this it? I don't know. They all look the same. Let's just use it. All right. You don't have to do the whole stencil. You can just view parts of it. That might be kind of cute, right? Do a little flower out there. Ah, well, there we go. All right, so we have some of that going on. Oh, you know, maybe the little white contrast down here. Let me do a little flower down there. Yeah, how about that? Oh, that came out kind of weird, but kind of cool at the same time. Very um, uh, Victorian looking, very old world looking. Okay, back in you go. No squawking. There you go. Find your happy place. All right, we are good. So really, that was the biggest part of it. Now, 
What do I have? I have these little pretties. I thought this, okay, so she's coming in the door. So we'll use her on the, the inside cover. And she is being blown away. So she's going away. So we will use her on the outside cover. And I'm just going to make a big, tall tuck in here for somebody. Uh, we can we can tuck things behind it. I'm just going to, I'm not going to tuck things. I'm just going to show you where you can tuck. And there we go. So there is a very pretty inside cover. Oh, look at you. you. You have a little pocket. So we're going to be doing other things with you. All right. So maybe we would put you in there. That would be nice because you're already present. You don't have to sew everything. No, there's no, there's no rules. There's no laws. I have a whole bunch of little pictures here. These might be fun to work with. Um, let me go cut these up. Okay, I'm just going to show you some very basic things and just some fun things that you can do with these. So we have a corner, a, a corner tuck, um, or a corner pocket, however you like to to call it. Uh, but here, I think I'm going to. Let me ever ink these quick. But I'm going to just make some kitty corner. Uh, tuck so I can tuck some bigger things in. Well, I thought that might be fun to do. Oh, you're very pretty. I'm going to put you there. Yes, that's what we'll do. Uh, so use a couple of these where we can put a pretty book page or something like that in there or a piece of old ledger or whatever you like. It can be um, something from modern times. Oh, look at my pink, my pink uh, ink is just sitting there drying out in the sun. Yeah, look at that. It's lovely. <laughs> All right, let's, let's cover you up, Missy. There you go. All right, there you go. And you don't have to do every page. It's not mandatory. Sometimes I just get a, have a rolling load of fun with it and I keep going, but um, we'll just do a few pages here and there just so you can get an idea of what you can do. Okay, so we should wait for that to dry, but you could put something in here like this. Of course, I'm not gonna wait for that to dry because, oh, I never wait. Um, I don't want you guys to have to wait forever, but you could put something pretty in there like that, like an interesting book page that they could pull out which would be fun. And let's maybe count in one, two, three pages in. And you can do a top, you can do an upper pocket, which is always fun. Oh, let's do a little inking, very quick. A quinky dink. This is a quinky dink. It's a quick ink, not a coincidence. It's a quinky dink. <laughs> oh, having entirely too much fun over here with just paper. Anybody else? Hello. Am I am I among good company? I think I am. Yes. You guys get it. All right. There we go. All right. There. That was pretty quick and painless, right? Right? Okay. So let's get put in there. Well, maybe she has an. I have it from another digi kit. If you're just like, well, what can I do? I don't know what to do there. You take your rubber stamp and you put it in something like vintage photo, and you just you come along here and you put some rubber stamps there. Just give it a little topper. Um, maybe we're going to do a little cluster at the top. It's random. So there we go. And then you instantly have a um, little journal card. Very fun. Easy to do. No must, no fuss. I know sometimes you have a lot of relatives and you're trying to make things for the holidays. There we go. I'm just going to stick that in there. That might be fun. Somebody can find that. One, two, so we put three pages in. All right, so now let's do, I've got a few more of these little guys. These are fun to also make, um, like you, you can do a, a, like a separated side tuck where you can glue in, um, let's put you in the middle, you're pretty. Okay, ink them fast, ma'am, ink them fast. We're pushing on, we're going on with time here. Okay, I'm, I'm inking fast, I'm inking fast. Actually, I'm gonna do something different. I've never done this before because she's looking in. I'm gonna put her over here. And I'm going to put these two sassy ladies over here. They're all related, though. It's They're in the family, so it's okay. They don't mind. Um, the clan undine. Yes. A little bit of glue here. A little bit of glue of your choice here. And then, guess what? Your choice again of the glue here. Whoops. All right, now, put that down here. So I could take something, like what, Pam? Like this. This is kind of cool, right? This is very thin, actually. It's from a, um, a magazine of some sort. Sears and Robot catalog. Okay, so let me just, I'm just showing this for example purposes. Although it may live here, you never know. Uh, but I need it to fit, so it's got to be narrow enough to slide down the gully. 
And don't break on me, you old piece of paper. Just stay intact for the for the video. Okay, I think it's complying. There we go. So I'm just tucking. I'm lightly... The, you, again, should wait for these to dry. But no, that is not happening here. That's right. Okay. Another way to do a very simple uh, tuck. Very fun. Very quick. Um, oh, we're already halfway through the book. Look at that. Um, okay, so I have these guys. These are... Um, I'm going to use my fabric scissors. Don't anybody look. I know, cringe, cringe, don't look. But they're right here. And I, do, I can't find my, they're some, my other scissors are somewhere else. I know, Pam can't find her paper scissors. Ha ha. <laughs> no, they're everywhere. I just, again, they're beyond the one foot reach. So I'm, I'm being super lazy. And I'll just end up having to buy another pair of these. Because I know what happens. Never, you know, the thing. Look, look, I even, fabric. You see that? Breaking my own rules. That's right. You can also do the caddy corner spread across two pages if you get to your center a any page will work at, like that actually no matter where you do it you could do something like that and you could have a fold of a thing in the middle let's just play with that maybe not where the knot is because that's going to be a little contemptuous um so let's try that you know it's kind of funny just playing with pieces and you start thinking about things you never thought about before like i don't think i've ever done something that bridged the gap that was tucked into caddy corner pockets okay the little girl again we like her all right. Who's got the inky fingers here? My goodness. All right. And then we're going to do this one over here. And there's about a million and one ways you can do things with these things, but I'm just showing a few because you wanted to see some ideas, and I heard you. I heard your, your call. Here we go. Let's find a piece of paper. Of, this is where I would request anything to be produced. Pam? Okay, so I have this. And that's kind of cool, right? So why don't I take this and fold it right under the word garden. This is just a piece of printer paper that I coffee dye sprayed through some stencil. Now, now, for my next trick. Do I need to do that or can I just stick the whole thing in? Let me try. Will it fit? Will it fit? No, of course it won't. Okay, so... Well, we're going to have to sacrifice an edge. There you go. You're going. No. Yeah. No. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> and, oh, I lost all the pretty. Come back, Come in here with the uh, brown and fix that. I don't want to hear. It's not working. I want to hear. Oh, I know what I can do in that position. Here's an idea. What about this? No, it's okay to ask. I'm just teasing you. Just want you to always think there's a way around it or a way through it. So there, that's kind of pretty, right? Now it would be probably advantageous to fold it, pre-fold it, so it nestles nicely into the, where are we? Okay, nestles nicely into the uh, spine. Yeah, there we go. All right. Good. Good. We got you. Well, you're a little, let's do a double belly. And again, with the wrong scissors. Way to go, Pam. Way to go. Very impressive. Boop, boop. It's all good. It's all good because it all sort of comes together in the end. Now, this is without using anything else. I could be adding little pieces of laces here and doing all sorts of fun things. But no, no, no. I'm just basic, basic lasagna here. Just uh, pasta and sauce and a little cheese. That's right. And you can just go anywhere from here. Because you got the power. You can do this. Okay, so there's a belly band. So if you wanted to stick something fun back there, put it on straight, Pam. You can do better than that. Okay. All right, there we go. Roll that glue off, sister. Roll it off with those inky fingers. Somebody said I don't see my inky fingers anymore. I, I, I'm not as inky as they used to be. I must have tidied up or done something different. Okay, there's a cool old piece of ledger. I'm going to just tuck that little baby right there. There you go. You're all happy pants now. Let's do maybe one or two more. Yeah, I don't want to go too long for you. I know everybody gets antsy. Okay, what are we going to do? Oh, oh yeah, that's what I want to do. Um, no, no, we're working with the undines. I'll just do that another time. Okay. <laughs> next time. I'll show you that next time. Okay, so this is a really cool piece. Um, uh, oh, we could do that. We could. Let's try that. We're going to go across the middle with one of these and see what that's like. No, I want the straight edge. Okay. We've seen pockets and tucks and belly bands and all sorts of stuff. Now we're going to do the bridge. This is a glued down bridge. Oh, here's an idea. 
Okay, this is new. Not totally glued down. We're going to leave the edges open so that it can be a double tuck. How about that? Fold it in half. It's going to, yeah, be a double side tuck. Might as well put it to work, right? Enough of this uh, lollygagging and just sitting there looking cute. No, you're going you're gonna to have to go to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, yep, I'm going to glue it uh, here. So I'm just going to tell you that if you have not signed up for my free monthly email newsletter, make sure you do because you get a lot of really cool stuff, like a free digital image emailed to you every month. That's right. And a uh, checklist of supplies, note from the bookmaker, updates from me, junk journal tips. There. So I'm basically just gluing a centimeter's worth in the center. It's glued to the spine. It's open here. Why? So we can tuck things. If we wanted to come and tuck things, we can do that. Um, what would you like to tuck in there today, Pam? Oh, I don't know. Let's grab a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Okay, we see I have more of this stuff. I think this is pretty. This gives them extra writing paper. Okay, and I think maybe this time I'm going to tear it. I'm going for the rough edge. Oh, that was really rough. Okay. And maybe I'll just make two separate pieces. Okie dokie. Alright, so we have one. No, nope. there. You're going to fit? Oh, you have a little tail. That's alright. I'm going to put you in there. There we go. Whip you off here. Make you a little narrower. There we go. Extra paper. Extra writing paper. And we just finish it off with something pretty in the back. Let's see. What should we do? What should we do? Um... We could make, um, what do we got here? Oh, we have you, you're, you're here, and you have nice pictures on you. So let's use some of these. We have you are loose, so maybe we'll do something secured. And we will be done. Sunshine, do you have a few things to say? Yes, Mom, I'm working on my journalism. My, I, I'm going to become a journal. Okay, fine. Um, there we go. That would be cool, because he's going off that way. I want to keep him there, but, oh, you're, you're going that way, but you are coming this way. Maybe we'll take you because you are coming into the scene. Well, he's a halfer. He's coming in and out. You see his horse is coming in, but he is looking out. So maybe we'll just we'll just put him on the middle. Here's another thing you can simply do. This is probably the most simple thing that you can do with a, a DigiKit picture is you can just glue it to the center of the page and it can be its own focal point. Mm -hmm. That's right. It's just a very simple concept. And it just says done. It could be anywhere in your journal. Okay. This was fun. This was very uh, cathartic and relaxing. You can do this with any journal or any pictures you have. Um, sometimes less is more. You know, you have one little thing to play with and you have lots of things. So here we are. Our little Undine journal. Um, lots of pages to play with. You could do rubber stamping and things in here too that might jazz it up a little bit, but just some blank pages for journaling and maybe a little surprise. There's a little upper pocket. Here's the, uh, you know, the um, um, scattered side tucks. How about that? The scattered side tuck maneuver. <laughs> and here's the crossing the bridge with something not glued. Oh, sort of glued because it got stuck because I didn't wait. Okay, make sure you go back and double check. This is a very opportune time to do that. The belly band, the, the horizontal belly band maneuver. Okay, as an option. And then we have, oh, the, uh, the double uh, side pockets with loose things. Side, side tucks. Try and get the wordage right. Completely glued down, free uh, journal card, and then a free sewn journal card in the back. So, very fun, little uh, stamping, or uh, stenciling, and undine. Is all done. So, oh, oh, Sunny, are you here? No, I gotta get him. Hold on. Okay, Sunny, the journalist is here. And uh, now, Sunny, we know we only have a few seconds, right? Yeah, we know we gotta make it really brief and really quick and deliver the goods. I'm delivering the goods. Well, I already delivered some goods this morning, but these are these are better goods. Yeah. Okay. So, um, um, okay. Mom said there's gonna be a bath today. Yeah. You wanna go in the shower? Wanna go in the shower? Um, not really. Not even a little bit? In the shower? Mom, not, is that the place with all the, the rain and the suds? And it, it's cold? 
no, no, it's warm, and then it's cold because I'm wet, and then you gotta, like, tell, oh, oh, like, tell, mom. I, we could do the shower. You wanna do it tomorrow? I'm a little stinky. <laughs> okay, well, we'll do it today then. Okay, very good. Thank you, sunshine. Have happy crafting, everybody. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yes, we like a fresh boy. What can we say? Um, there you go, folks. Have fun. Remember that fun can be simple. I like this little guy. And happy crafting. Take care. Bye-bye.